Good day everyone, this is Engineer EMV and welcome to my channel. Before we proceed, hit the like button and subscribe for more civil engineering topics and practice problems in my channel. So we are still going to solve problems dealing with single reinforced beam, its investigation and analysis. So in here, I summarize up the given. We have a 300 millimeter base of the beam, an effective depth of 400 millimeters, a compressive strength of 21 megapascal, the yield strength of our reinforcements is 415 megapascal, and our reinforcements are made up of 528 millimeter diameter bars. So we are tasked to find the value of Fs as the stress in the steel, T as the tensile force in the beam, and Mn as the nominal moment capacity of the beam. So the first step is that we equate T to C, in which the tensile force should be equal to the compressive force in the beam. And also, we are going to assume that our Fs is less than Fy. So, pardon me in my video, it should be Fs less than Fy, not less than or equal to Fy. So, our T is equal to ASFs, since Fs is not equal to Fy. And our C is equal to 0 0.85 Fc prime AB for the area of the compression block. So our AS is equal to 5 28 millimeter diameter bars. And for our FS, recall that our FS is equal to D minus C times 600 all over C. So this formula, we can use it in our working equation. So rewrite our values, 400 minus C all over C multiplied by 600 is equal to 0.85 compressive strength of 21 multiplied by A. So we cannot use A because our variable is C. So we can use A is equal to beta 1 C. It came from the formula C is equal to A over beta 1. And by transposition, A is now equal to beta 1 C. So we can use C as our unknown variable. C will now be our first variable to be solved. We can now solve by one equation and one unknown. Since we have C as our single unknown, we have one unknown, one equation, and we can now solve for its value. So by computation, our C is equal to 248.203 millimeters. So that is the depth of our neutral axis. Now we are going to solve for A, in which it can be solved by beta 1 multiplied by C. So our beta 1 is obviously 0 0.85 since our compressive strength is less than 28 megapascal, multiplied by C, 248.203 millimeters. And our value for A, or the depth of the compression block, is 210.972 millimeters. So next step is we're going to check for the value of Fs if our assumption is correct. So the formula is D minus C multiplied by 600 all over C. Substituting our values, 400 minus 248.203 multiplied by 600 divided by 248.203. So our value for Fs is equal to 366.95 megapascal, and it is obviously less than our yield strength of the steel. So we can say that our assumption is correct. For the second question, we are tasked to find the value of the tensile force in the beam. We can solve it by using the formula T is equal to ASFS. Our area of the steel is 528 millimeter diameter reinforcing bars multiplied by Fs, which is 366.95 megapascal. So the value of T is equal to 1,129.78 kilonewtons. And that is the answer for the second question. Remember that you should divide it by 1,000 so that you can convert newton into kilonewton. The third question is the nominal moment in the beam. So in this problem, I will go into use the tensile force 
in which mn is equal to t multiplied by d minus a over 2. So t is equal to 1129.79 multiplied by 400 minus a 210.972 divided by 2. So the value of our nominal moment is 332.728 kilonewton meter. And that is the answer for our third and final question. Stay tuned in in this channel for more practice problems regarding singly reinforced beam analysis. That's all for this video. I hope you've learned something. And if you have questions, inquiries, and topics in mind, just comment it down below. And let's see what will be our next topic in our next videos. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more civil engineering topics and practice problems by Engineer EMV.